This is Miss Alexander from Fountain of Youth TV and welcome back to ASL Phonics. Today we're going to be working on vital vowels and crazy consonants and these are so important to master for our game of ASL Phonics so that reading and writing will become such an easy, easy task. It won't be a task anymore. It will be the game that you are a master of. So stay, stay with me and follow along and watch our gestures. We're gonna be doing a punch for short sounds in our vowels, our vital vowels, and we'll be doing a slide for our long sounds in our vowels, okay? First I'll say the word, and you'll see the picture coming up over here with the letters so that you can be sure that you're noticing the letters, and that's gonna go into your brain and you're gonna be able to start thinking about letters, sounds, and symbols with our, with our hands. And as you see the letters appearing above the picture over here, you'll notice that today, on this video, they're gonna be different. They're gonna have a little symbol. And if I do a short sound, it's gonna be almost like a little smiley face above the letter. And that's gonna show us that it's gonna be a punch. It's gonna be a short sound. If you see a line above it, just a straight line, that's going to be the long sound. That's where I do the sliding. It's almost like making that line. And that's where the vowel will be saying its name. So it will be a long sound with a slide and that little line above the letter to tell you that it's a long sound. It's saying its name. If it's got a little smiley above it, that's the punch. That's the short sound. So if I say apple, a, ah, you're gonna see it's gonna be a smiley above the letter. If I say acorn, it's a, it's like drawing that long line above the letter. Okay, so be watching for those. And I know with my students in my classroom, they like to write that whenever they see a short or a long vowel. They know to put the symbol because it's just a reminder that they know what the vowel is saying. So it's just an extra thing to put on there to make us even extra smart. So watch for those things. And when you start to write your words, you can even show your moms and dads and teachers how you understand the symbols and it shows whether it's a long or a short sound. Okay, here we go. A. Apple. Acorn, A, E, Egg, E, Eagle, E, I, Igloo, I, Ice. I O Octopus A Oak O U Umbrella A Unicorn U did you hear the difference between the long and the short? You'll see that I'm doing a punch for the short and I'm doing a long motion for the long. I'm sliding it. So again, if I said eh as an apple, I'm saying eh as the short. If I do the long as an acorn, hear it? A. I'm saying its name. So every time a vowel says its name as an A, A corn, it's saying its name. So then you know that's the long sound. If I say E as an eagle, hear it? E. I slide our ASL, our American Sign Language symbol. We slide it to say the name of the vowel. If I say I as in ice, hear the I, the letter I, 
I. And O as in oak. Hear the O? O. That's the name of the letter. So whenever we slide it, we're saying O. That's the name of the letter. So it kind of helps you remember, oh, every time I say a vowel, that's really how it sounds. A, acorn, E, eagle. And if I say U, as in unicorn, hear it? U, we slide it, and that's the name of the letter, U. And that's where the long sound, the long vowel. So those are our vowels, our vital vowels, and vital means important. Now we're gonna do our crazy consonants. Now most of the letters in our alphabet are consonants, and there are two, and I call them crazy, and they're crazy because they have two sounds. All the other consonants only have one. And now let's look at our crazy consonants. C, cat, Circus. Whenever we say circus, you can hear both the soft and the hard. Listen. Circus. Hear the s and the k. So it's kind of nifty when you think of that word circus or circle. Circle. You hear both the soft and the hard. Pretty nifty. And finally, the last crazy consonant, G. Gate. G. Giraffe. J. It has the same sound as the J that says J, like jump or jack-in-the-box, but it says the same thing that J says, giraffe, hear it, J. So we're gonna do the same similar symbol or gesture that we do for J, but we're holding our G and we're just making it like a J because we know often some of our words are not gonna start with a J. It might be that G sound that's J. If I say gigantic, that's got both the soft and the hard. Listen, gigantic. It had the j and the g. We'll work on those. But it's something we do need to master to become experts in our game of ASL phonics. So keep practicing this with your, with your friends, your moms and dads and brothers and sisters, and grandmas and grandpas. So when we start playing our games, we've mastered all of our signs and all of our symbols and our punching and our sliding to do our short and our longs and our soft and our hard sounds. It does make it more fun and it makes it easier to remember. So I have fun practicing your ASL phonics and I'm just so proud of you. You're doing an awesome job. So keep playing this over and over until you got it right down and you are masters of ASL phonics. And thanks again for joining us here today. This is Miss Alexander, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey.